Hey guys, Vivian Vic here and welcome to a vlog. Vlog number 12, I believe, if we are still counting. I'm still counting. Are you still counting? Um, loads to talk about. Loads to talk about. We'll very quickly do the vlog topic. Today's vlog topic we'll do in a second. Last vlog's topic was what is your favourite sub ohm clearamizer? <laughs> and sort of as I expected. Uh, I was hoping for a unanimous, I always am, but um, sort of as expected. Best sub ohm clearamizer, it just seems like everyone's got their own. A uh, lot of shouts for the sub tank, a couple of shouts for the Arctic, um, Delta 2 got a couple of shouts, and then there was all these new ones like the Maganus and all those clearamizers. So we didn't quite reach a unanimous decision. It seems like everybody has their own potato um, that they like to suck on in the sub ohm clearamizer world. So fair play for that. Um, today's topic now. Um, I reviewed this. Um, I reviewed this just the other day. Uh, SX300 by Hotsig, 50 uh, watt box mod. Go much review if you've missed it. Uh, I reviewed this. Um, what I want to know is might be an interesting one. This I want to know is this a clone? Is this a clone? Go and watch the review if you haven't watched it, and then decide is the Hotsig SX300 50 watt mod a chip. Um, for the purposes of this let's assume the chip inside it is an authentic Yeehe chip um, because there's now people saying that it's actually Yeehe are saying apparently that it isn't one of their chips but let's assume it is put that put the chip to one side uh, is this a clone and if yes why let me know in the comments that is today's vlog topic and I will be responding to people and chatting with people on those topics in the in the comments section. Um, so yes, so do let me know on that one. Oh, I didn't do the hands thing. Vlog topic, vlog topic, vlog topic. Uh, that's the jingle for uh, vlog topic. Uh, next section, guys. <laughs> um, the next section, I just want to say uh, thank you. I've gone past a thousand subscribers in the last week. Um, and it's a meaningless number in a lot of respects. Uh, the only thing that matters is if people are enjoying it, people are hitting the like button, people are watching it. If no one's watching it, that's a problem. As long as some people are watching it and liking it, you don't have a problem. Uh, the number's sort of irrelevant. A thousand subscribers doesn't e equal a thousand views. It's a bit of a nonsense number, but at the same time, it does feel like a, a really nice milestone, really nice achievement, and it feels like anything I do now, people, someone will see it now. Whereas when you've got like hardly any subscribers, it does feel sometimes like you're just shouting down a, an empty tunnel. Um, so yeah, so a thousand subscribers, thank you to loads of people for helping with that. I'm really chuffed with it and thanks to everyone that subscribed and particularly the people that are carrying on watching and watching this in particular. I really enjoy doing the vlogs. Um, special thanks to, if I miss you off, really sorry, uh, to some random people. Uh, really big thanks to Todd. Uh, Pooh from UKV, Cruz from UKV, uh, Poly Meatballs, um, Vaping Shozza, wherever you are, <laughs> wherever you've gone, uh, I know you are, but uh, yeah, the Invisible Vaping Shozza, uh, UK Vapors in general, Vapor Shared, um, everyone, so people I can't name uh, for legal reasons, um, but uh, yeah. Absolute massive thanks to absolutely everyone. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits. Um, and like I say, it's a bit of a meaningless thing, but to me, it's a little bit of a milestone as well. I'm really pleased with it. Um, so that is that. Let's get into the vlog. I've fogged up the whole place. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. What have we got coming up? The reviews have been... I, I'm sorry if the views haven't been enjoyable recently. It's been a real random mix of stuff, but we've got some amazing stuff coming up. We have got... <laughs> that was that sig like I've just chucked, uh, chucked into the nether. Um, we have got the Totally Wicked Odyssey S, which is a mech mod and tank. And uh, it's a slimline. The S is for slimline. They've got a whole range of Odyssey mods now. Um... I'll give you a sneak peek, pre-review sneak peek, going all Todd's vaping shed on you, giving you all this, 
isn't Todd's vlog amazing? You get to see all the amazing stuff. It's like eight reviews in one, you get to see all the cool stuff. Well, I'll show you some now, if I can get it out of the box. So, this is it. It uses an eight, a 14 500 battery. Remember them? Uh, from devices such as the Nemi. <laughs> um, yeah, it uses a 14500 battery, uh, comes with loads of stuff, got a really unique locking ring, well, unique to the Odyssey range. Uh, let's, oh, go on, let's have a little vape, eh? If I can remember to, yeah, it's okay, let's have a little vape. Odyssey S. There we go. And that is locked again. So yeah, so the Odyssey S coming soon uh, and you cannot you cannot put a fly on totally wicked for presentation what a stunning box stunning case stunning box uh, comes with loads of stuff comes with batteries that you need the tank a couple of spare heads as well as a head in the thing all your manuals all your gubbins hats off for that side of things but what's the mod like you have to wait for the review got this as well. Uh, check this out. Um, vapor box. Vapor box. This is their big box. Um, I'm not going to spoil the surprise of everything that's in it, but um, there's like eight bottles of juice, nine, ten bottles of juice in here. All high-end stuff. Well, looks all high. It looks amazing. Uh, it looks all high-end stuff. Loads of American stuff. Um, loads of things I've always fancied and loads of things that have had loads of hype as well um, I tried last night from the box I tried Adam Bombs uh, strawberry lemonade amazing uh, there's, I've seen so many people when they you know like hand checks on forums and Facebook and stuff Twitter Instagram uh, people do the hand checks they always have a little bottle of Adam Bomb with it there's loads of hype around that juice and I try to not go with the hype too much on juice um, but, wow, Adam Bombs Strawberry Lemonade is lovely. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to do a video showing you everything got in the box, explaining the subscription. I'll probably say no to a subscription box uh, email every week. People wanting to send me a subscription box. I'm not that into it. Um, <laughs> although my mind might be changing now if, I'm, if, if I was getting that kind of quality through every month. But, um, yeah, the subscription thing, I don't know. I, I hadn't been super excited about doing a video, but then Vaporbox contacted me, and they don't just do monthly subscription juice, they do monthly subscription juice and or hardware, and they've got their own little thing going on, uh, the vast majority of the stuff is sourced from America, so it's very hard to get yourself a lot of it as well, stuff you can't, like I've done some Google searches, you can't even get half of the juice in there, here in UK, um, so in a way it takes on its own new sort of level really if it's a way of getting juice from a faraway land that would have cost you a fortune on postage it brings a whole new dimension to it and the hardware side of things as well so I'll show you everything I get in the box and I'll show you I'll explain the site and explain the subscription models and the hardware and stuff um, and then throughout the next few few weeks uh, I'll do some reviews on individual juices and I'll throw some juice in a vlog and I'll, I'll reference Vaporbox in all of those. Look at all the handwork going on, bringing some action to the vlog. Um, yeah, so that is the plan with that. What else have we got coming up? Ah, oh, I turned it off. That's such a habit. Such a bad habit. So what else have we got coming up? We have got the Limo Drop. I've got a Limo Drop. I know, quick to the party, the Limo 2's out now. <laughs> but um, I got a Limo Drop uh, from Gearbest. And I've been wanting to try it. A lot of people are loving it. It's not heard too much negative stuff about it. Uh, I've got it on this SX300. Um, It's still really early stages for me. I've done two. I've done a build and a half in it, uh, which <laughs> I'll explain what that means in the video. As it stands, I'm not getting on with it. But what tends to happen is once I get the right build and stuff, um, I'm struggling with two things: getting the wicking right, um, which is bizarre because it just looks exactly like a K-Fun to wick. Um, 
but also the airflow if the airflow feels really in between both things and no matter how much up or down you adjust it it feels really in between the two things like it's got four holes in it so it's like more than a mouth to lung even closed down it's more than a mouth to lung but even fully open it's not a mass you can't really get a full lung oh, but I'll get there with it I'm sure I, everyone's loving it so uh, but uh, yes I'm still working on that one getting it right um, I'm going to give it a really good fair crack of the whip and then I'll do a video um, obviously there's a million reviews for the limo drop out so I'll try and put my own spin on it maybe a build or um, I don't know, after the hype or something like that or some, my, what, how I build the limo or something like that something like that I'll try anyway <laughs> uh, still got that paps to review um, got it sat on Look at that. Is that pretty? I think it is. Got it sat on the uh, Smock Genesis. What was it called? Oh, answers on the postcard. Uh, but it looks mint on that, I think. Uh, so Paps, I'll do a video on the Paps. Uh, that's going to be some epic video. I've been building it up for months. Um, what else we got? I think I've got a mod from Tesla coming. Uh, apparently, maybe one from SMY, and I have got an Axis coming. Um, Axis version one, um, been trying to get one of these mods on the cheap for nearly a year, coveting this mod for nearly a year. If you know what I'm talking about, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the uh, wooden, it's the big wooden mod um, that has uh, the ability to do about 70 watts uh, it's got a dial on the front it's all like camagong uh, wood going on uh, they've done a version 2 in a different wood altogether and they've done a leather bound one Todd's reviewed that um, and I've wanted one for a very long time but then the version 2 came out and I didn't want that one as much and the leather one I wasn't interested in uh, and so it left me sort of looking around the second hand market for a version one because that's the version I really like the look of. Um, so, yeah, so I've managed to eventually track one down, blow my vape budget on it, uh, and I've got that coming as well. And again, other people have reviewed it, but this will be my take, and it'll be a gush fest probably, unless I find a problem with it um, because I've wanted one for so long, and I really like it. If you want to see me gushing, go and check out the uh, MCR mods video I did which was a gush fest um, not very subjective at all <laughs> um, so that is what we've got coming up um, the post review reviews how am I getting on with stuff that I've reviewed well how am I getting on with stuff that I've reviewed um, put that there without turning it off okay so I reviewed the uh, boom juice uh, UK Vape Clouds Boom Juice, uh, Banana Custard and Florida Keys, still loving them guys. Um, it turns out that well, their company website that you can buy these juices from direct is actually their Facebook page and I'm not into that at all. Um, but there are more places to get it so do a bit more Google Foo. I got mine from um, vapeandecigstore.co.uk. Um, but they only do the 10 mil bottles, so 10 mil bottles fine though if you want to try it out. But I am loving them, loving the Florida Keys, loving the banana custard. I also got from Vape and E6 Star, random shout out. Um, these, these, drip, these drip tips, I uh, got this drip tip, uh, Del, white Delwyn drip tip on the uh, IPV Mini V2 with the uh, Atlantis V1, and the uh, I've got the black one on, uh, on the Limo with the, I think, looking all neat and tidy. Um, two pound fifty those drip tips, and I think they're great. I think they're really good. I like those. Uh, so check out Vape and Esig Store if you want. What else? Oh, I did this. I did the Samurai. Gosh, been a bad time for reviews. Just drip tips and juice and <laughs> and cotton. Um, no, uh, Samurai. I did the Samurai wicking material. Um, works perfectly. It's lovely stuff, but it's too expensive, and you can get it elsewhere, and you don't have to buy it with vape written on. It's just Kojendo. It is just Japanese cotton. So just get get it in bulk. Where else? Somewhere else. Um, that was that one. That starter kit. Thanks for the support on that. Uh, I didn't know how well that would go down. Um, 
I was obviously asked to do it and so I did it um, and I'm not the most up to date person on advocacy and everything although I do get all the, all the emails and stuff and I do read them and do what I'm told on them but I'm not super up on the whole advocacy thing and so I was really happy with that, how that went down um, the future of vaping it does look dark if we don't do something guys so um, see what you can do you know have a little bit of google foo uh, the Atlantis uh, V2 um, got a lot of views got a lot of views that video um, it got a mixed reaction though because I did slag it off and people don't like it when you slag off stuff that they like um, what the comments reading through the comments of the Atlantis V2 uh, made me realise that everybody wins in a way because there's certain people that really wanted that upgrade that V2 people are wanting effortless massive clouds extra heat uh, and faster wicking uh, extra airflow people there were people wanting all that stuff and the people that didn't like me who are happy with the first gen sub ohm clearizers um, they um, they're happy as well it means they don't have to go buy one if you're happy with the Atlantis V1 Bosh, keep your Atlantis V1. If you were looking for the two, you're laughing. You're laughing all the way to the bank. Um, so everybody wins. So although the review was slightly critical, it's a good. It's happy days. If you've got a V1, you're happy. Keep it. If you were looking for a V2, it has arrived. Uh, the Mega is just massive. Um, but with the one ohm coil on, it was quite a nice vape. Uh, apart from the whistling, but then some other people told me theirs doesn't whistle. I don't see how theirs doesn't whistle. I don't get how it doesn't whistle because if you look at the design it's almost designed like a whistle uh, you've got a larger air induction with a smaller air induction and that causes air friction and air friction creates sound and the sound is a whistle so I don't, people that saying theirs don't whistle oh good for you but mine really whistled <laughs> so that's that is that uh, SX300 um, a mixed bag, a mixed bag, an absolute bargain in my opinion. 50 watt box mod does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, obviously it's got that gravity sensor chip thing. Um, so it's up to you. That one is up to you. There are possibly better looking 50 watt mods out there. Um, but it is an absolute bargain. So that is up to you that one. SX300. I'm keeping it. I'm using it. Um, and quite like it, but it is quite basic, I suppose. And the next part of the vlog, let's do it. The next part of the vlog is the juice review section. I've been forgetting to do this, but we do do a juice review in every vlog, except the vlogs where we haven't done one because we've forgotten. But other than that, we do them. When we're doing juice reviews, we always do juice reviews, okay? Um, today's juice, today's juice is Digby's El Cadejo. Um, it is a dripping juice. It is 90 VG, 10 PG, and I've got it in 3 MG, which is too little. I like 6 MG for dripping, but I don't know why. I just went for it. Fair play. I don't know if I was worried about the throat hit or whatever. Um, but let's drip a bit inside our Derringer. Still loving the Derringer, loving it even more because it's uh, it's a replica. <laughs> but from what I'm reading, it the replica it's better than the original. Uh, people having all kinds of trouble with the original. Uh, so El Cadejo Digby's on the MCR. Let's bosh it in. Batch was flat as a pancake. Okay. I'm pleased that I'm doing this one in a vlog because it's another one of those cat trombone, cat playing a trombone moments where I cannot even begin to describe to you what this juice is like. It's got like a. Um, to me, it reminds me of your um, classy cocktails, your um, pale green cocktails uh, that have got a stick of cucumber in um, and like a mojito-y type thing, like your fancy. And so it's got like a, a very sort of 
uh, light taste, very soury, like not not very sour, but just that hint of sourness, that subtle undertone. It's got that sort of fresh, fruity, but sort of cucumber is like a really strong part of this flavour. Um, like a eucalyptusy, planty. Doesn't sound nice. Don't get me wrong, this sounds very unusual. And it is a very unusual vape, but it's so different. I really like it. It's a really nice change up vape. Maybe just for an hour in front of the telly before bed or something like that. Um, it's really refreshing, really tasty, n very subtle, very light and subtle. And it's, uh, it's 90 VG, so it's dripping only, really. Um, but it's such a unique flavour. Digby's hats off again. You've done it again. Um, really unique really unique flavor uh, that's what the bottle looks like Digby's El Cadejo it's got sort of a light green um, go on the website see how they've described it but it's sort of like a cucumber uh, light tasting cocktail um, sort of mojito -y sort of flavor um, very hard to describe eucalyptus cactus and cucumber I think something like that uh, incredibly difficult to describe, but uh, I do really like it. But that is that. That is the juicer review. Digby's top quality juice line, uh, as always. So I do like that one as well. Um, it's time for vaping news. What have we got coming up in vaping news? We have got. The Vapor Flask. Know the Vapor Flask? You got a Vapor Flask? Do you like Vapor Flask? Vapor Flask have <laughs> done it again. Vapor Flask are bringing out a squonker. Yeah, a squonker. I believe a DNA 40 squonker. Um, basically, what they've done is you know the Vapor Flask design, dual 18650 batteries. They've taken one of the batteries away, put in a squonking bottle inside it. Um, and you just connect it up, you got one battery, so it's one battery that's just going to be a slight, you know, draw, that's going to be a slight disappointment because you're going to have to charge it more, obviously, um, but you've got DNA 40, vapor flask looks, and squonking ability, presumably there's a hole or something in to push it as well. Um, what I would say, without seeing too much on it yet, this is very early days, it's only just been announced, what I would say is, Possibly want to wait for the review, or possibly want to check out the Vapor Flask website and see a proper breakdown of it. Because unless they've radically changed the design, I can picture it being incredibly fiddly, putting the bottle in and getting the bottle to connect. I'm not sure how they've done that bit, because it's sealed off at the top, and usually with a squonker you can get access to the top, so you can reattach your bottle, you know, put it all back together and and all that. So it could be beautiful, but very fiddly. I'm just a bit worried about that, um, but yeah, that could be very exciting. That could really introduce more people to squonking as well. Squonking is very popular, but it's very high end at the moment. Um, so it'd be very interesting to see the effect on the squonking market the vapor flask brings. Um, some of the cheaper guys are doing squonkers as well, like Yilong and stuff. So I think squonking is going to become more mainstream in the coming months and weeks. Uh, what else is there? Let me fire this up. Fire this up a little bit. IPV Mini V2 Atlantis. Still got that key lime pie from Boom uh, in here. Loving it. Lovely. Um, what else is in the vaping news? The Hades V2 by Fatoon or Futon. <laughs> I like Futon better. Um, but Fatoon, Hades V2, um, that is out now and it's in various places and it's a lot cheaper than the original. Uh, but um, I would say go check out Todd's review and go check out uh, Nick Green Green's review um, because it sounds like it's. Uh, doesn't sound perfect, it sounds like it's got some issues, so don't just dive in feet first with that one, go and check out the reviews, I think there's some of the same top cap issues as the V1, and and it's got a brand new switch, and I think there's some issues with the new switch as well, um, so yeah, don't just jump in and get a Hades V2, have a little look first. 
what else has made Vaping World news? Um, the Inokin Cool Fire 4. Now, the Inokin have got a sub ohm clearomizer out. Um, the iSub, I think it's called, something like that. Um, and it's actually had really good reviews, people saying it's really good, like, um, and it needed to be good, you know, because bringing a sub ohm clearomizer out so late in the game. But it does sound very good and it does look very pretty. Um, they're bringing out a new mod, the Cool Fire 4. Uh, and it's a 40 watt mod and presumably it's designed to work with that sub ohm clearomizer. Um, I don't know what happened to the Cool Fire 3. The Cool Fire 1 was an 8.5 watt uh, semi mech, semi electrical regulated mod. Um, the Cool Fire 2 was a hand grenade. <laughs> Not in terms of it was dangerous, it was literally shaped like a hand grenade. Um, I think that went up to either 12.5 or 15 watts. Um, I don't know what happened to the Cool Fire 3. Where is the Cool Fire 3? Hashtag, where's the Cool Fire 3? Um, save the Cool Fire 3. I'm gutted if they don't. If, I'm gutted if they skip straight to 4. Just because 4 and 40 are slightly similar. Um, but yeah, Cool Fire 4. Go and check out the press releases on that. Uh, looks will be subjective, uh, as always. Um, but what should be nailed on with Inokin is the build quality and the price. The price should be very competitive and the build quality should be decent. Uh, Inokin don't mess about. The MPV2 and MPV3 are tanks, you know, absolute tanks. So, one to keep an eye on. Especially if you've not dipped into the high regulated game yet. Uh, definitely one to look at, you know sort of a cheap alternative to a DNA, but it probably, I'm almost certain it doesn't have temperature control, but who needs that anyway? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so that is Vaping World News. Thank you again so much for subscribing and watching and everything. Let me know uh, about the vlog topic, is the SX300 a clone? Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. If there's anything you ever want me to talk about in a vlog, uh, let me know. Um, Check, watch out for the things coming up. Got some really good reviews coming up. Uh, ones I'm very excited and happy about. And and I'm thinking about doing a podcast in a proper podcast that goes on iTunes and everything. Uh, so if anyone knows anything about podcasting, hit me up on my email in the description. Or uh, if you think that sounds like a good idea, let me know in the comments or something. Um, I don't know how many vapors use iTunes for podcasts. Um, but if I'm doing a podcast, that's the place to put it. I, I do believe that. But I just don't know how... I don't know. I don't know. I really want to do it. But um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I, I'm really interested. I'm really interested in doing a podcast. But uh, I do have a plan for exactly how it will work. Uh, I just want to know if there's a market for it, really. Um, there's not a lot of vaping podcasts out there. Uh, so, yeah. So that is everything. That was a bit of a brain dump at the end. But thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching the vlog. Thanks for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for a thousand subscribers. And thank you very much. And I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.